Hey there friends, welcome back to another episode of the Almost Daily Vlog here at Life in the Iron House. And uh, today it's going to be another episode of Can He Fix It? If you remember, we'll, we'll look a, little, a couple weeks back we attempted to fix our dryer and, I'm sorry, attempted to fix our washer. And uh, knock on wood, so far it is working. We fixed it, we're happy with it. Today though, we have a slightly bigger project and maybe a little bit more complicated. This is my 2014 Toyota Tundra. It's an old truck, but I love her. She's a great truck. I mean, look at this girl. She's quite awesome. I mean, she's amazing. But she has sprung a leak in her, in one of her brake hoses. And it looks like it's gonna be a fairly easy fix, but I've never fixed a brake hose before. And so we're gonna try this. But you can see, I got it set up in here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to say it, not from this side. But we're gonna get underneath of there, and we're gonna see if we can't replace this hose. Now I'm gonna get started. Aiden might join me, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna crawl under and just see what's going on and what we might need to actually fix this hose. All right, let's try it. Okay, so I'm somewhat under the truck. I'm not fully under the truck yet. I'm still kind of figuring things out here a little bit where the leak is and all that good stuff. And trying to figure out the best way for me to get in here and actually reach it. So here's the problem. Right there. You can kind of see it. There are two hoses. The one on the right that is wet is the one apparently where the leak is and that's the one that needs to be replaced. It doesn't look super complicated. There's some loosening of some nuts there and there. So I don't think it'll be that difficult of a task, but it's brake lines, you know? Brake lines, like you need your brakes to stop your vehicle. The lines are what provides the fluid to the calibers and the brakes that build the pressure that makes the brakes work. I've never done anything with brake lines. I have replaced brakes once, but I have not done anything with brake lines. And with brake lines, there also comes the issue of bleeding them so that you get all the air out of them. And I'm not really sure what happens if you don't get all the air out of it. it could be devastating. Whew. All right. Well, we know the problem. We think we got the proper hose that fixes it. It doesn't look too, too complicated. But man, I wish I had a lift. Because it would be way easier to come up underneath of this thing while standing up underneath instead of crawling underneath. But here's the deal. If we can fix it, we save a lot of money in repairs. I mean, the part alone at this point only cost me about $23. When I called for a part with the dealer, it was like 80 some dollars. Now you figure in your hourly rate for the mechanic, which I believe is pretty close to $100 or over $100. This could very easily turn into, what, maybe $200, $300, $350 in, in repair. So if we can do it ourselves, that's a huge savings. I mean, I got it for 20 for $23. Oh, uh, I hear Aiden. I think we're gonna see if we can't make this make this happen. Righty tighty, nice lefty loosey. Maybe, no. Uh, no. All right. Oh, we good. Well, Sam, look at that kit. No. No. 
I do think you're tightening it. Am I? Does it have to be... Righty, tiny, lefty, loosey. If that's the third. Right. No, that should be right. Beautiful. Alright. I'm done. You get the best angle. Yeah. Oh I man. Think this is the only angle. So Aiden came home, got right up underneath. It's like he knows exactly what to do. I didn't even watch the video yet. I watched the video, but it wasn't for this. I think it was for the powder. Yeah. So, like, when I saw where it was leaking, I'm like, wait a minute. I thought I was doing the one by the tire. too old. I would not fit up in that space. Okay, so I honestly thought like I'd be able to do this, but he's jumped right up in there and he's getting it done. And he's getting it done really quick. Do you move the light PC? Okay? No, I can see it's just getting to it. I wonder if maybe from this side. Maybe, wait, if I can get it here, then I should be able to just come over. We'll see, because I might be able to help leverage it on this. You're good at speed, speed it a bit. <laughs> and it's all dripping into the box. That's back on the HBO, I think. Oh, is it? There was a movie I was thinking about the other day. I was like, oh, we should watch that movie. Now I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, it's Actually, no, it's not. Yeah, it's, I have a plate for this one, too. Oh, there is a plate up there? Yeah. Alright, so this is the hose. And then, right there. There's the hole. That's what's causing all the problems. First it was my car with the chewing, now it's yours. I don't think it's chewed. You don't think? I don't think so. I think like it's just worn. Yeah, but it was on the opposite side, though. I feel like it would have been worn if it was on the underside, where it crimps. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're thinking something curled up underneath, and yeah. it was chewing on that little spot. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I gotta actually see it. Inspect it when we get it out. I could never see it. I just felt it. Yeah. And then I took a picture, and the picture wouldn't really focus. But I was like, that's definitely gotta be it. Alright, I'm gonna. Let's see me get this off here. Stuff? Yeah. I want to like doing this it's stuff. Not in the ceiling. What's that? It's not in the ceiling. You mean not in the ceiling? Like stuff like this. 
but like the past two days I was crawling up in the ceiling. Oh, that's what okay. stuff okay. in my hands. All right, so that's out. Nicely done, sir. Where's the next piece? Hey, um, there's the new one. Now, is there a difference between which end is which? I don't think so. I hope I think not. they're the same. Because they both have a... The same type of... Uh, well, let me see the... Uh, here's the... I gotta wait, shine that light on it. Oh, I can't really see the angle. It looks like they're the same. It does look like the same. But... No, they're not the same. Wait, that one, okay, not there. Let's see, in the light. No, they're the same. They think... look like the same in the back. Yeah. It's just that this one has a nozzle on it. What do you mean a nozzle? Like, uh, see it? This comes out, and this one doesn't. Okay. Help them just straight to the threads. And this one has like a little... Well, it's got threads on it, so... Yeah. And I don't see a difference in the old one. And there's no indication that there's a... And that presses it down. Maybe it is just worn. I don't know. We'll have to just take a look at it. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see if we can get it up. Yeah. And you're in position. Oh, I hope I didn't just scratch my glasses. So I can hold that for you. I feel like I'm the kid and you're the dad and is the flashlight okay? No, shine it here. Give me the five seven teeth wrench. That's not even that. I know. <laughs> I know it's not a real one. Oh man, we're gonna lose battery. On what? The camera. Uh, Turn it. All right, we'll have to come back when it's all done. Okay, so I've got very little battery left. We ended up to, uh, we stopped recording because we were running low on battery. I didn't want it to go out. And even now it's flashing again. I think it's fixed. We did it. Aiden came in and just got at it. All right, so we didn't make it. Had to change the battery, but we're back. So, as I was saying, Aiden came home, got right under the truck, got the hose off, got the new one back on, we had a little bit of a leak, but we just had to tighten some things down, and then we went and we bled all of the lines, and we just took her for a test drive, and I think we are in good shape. It's amazing. I'm so glad that we got this far. Now, this is per hopefully with the thought process that we won't have any other problems with the brake, but I mean, yeah, this could have been like a $300, $400 job. And all I had to pay out was $23 for the part and then a couple bucks for a bleeding kit uh, so you can bleed the air out of the lines. And Aiden kind of just knew what to do. So it was awesome. He just, he just did it, um, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so proud of him. He just is, he has picked things up and he is so mechanical and good with his hands. And uh, just, I'm glad he's, he's like that. And he likes it. Like, he likes being under the truck and, and working on it. Like, that was really cool. And the best part of all of this is, is, well, I guess not really the best part of all of this, but he turned 21 today. So we, we acknowledged Asher uh, a couple weeks ago when he turned 18. And I said, man, we've got four kids over or 18 and up well now i've got three that are 21 and up because aiden turned 21 and uh not much of a birthday i mean he helped me fix my brake line um i think he likes doing it so maybe it was a good birthday for him um but we've got some fun things for him coming this weekend and uh yeah i think it'll be good but uh yeah here we are get it all done um only took i don't know the actual repair maybe only took 30, 45 minutes. Um, waiting for the part took all week. The part was supposed to be here on Monday. We were planning to do the work on Monday. That way we'd have some time this week to really get it on the road and make sure things were working before the weekend came. But it didn't come Monday. It didn't come Tuesday. And uh, it actually didn't get here until Wednesday afternoon. So yeah, a little frustrating on that end of it. 
But again, twenty twenty three dollars for the part, fifteen dollars for a kit to bleed the brakes, and I think it was seven dollars for a can of uh, brake fluid. Not a bad repair, and uh, if it really does fix it, then we're in good shape. So. Let me wrap this up before I ramble on, on any further. Just super grateful for my kids. Uh, each one of them are so gifted and talented and are learning so much already as adults and they're able to just step in and help us in so many ways. Um, I just think that's cool. Like my boys, they're knowing things and they're doing things and they're willing to help and serve with folks to do it. So I'm just, that's just, a dad can't ask for more than that. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. The Almost Daily Vlog here, life in the Hyam House. We'll see you next time.